Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Um, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's uh, 2 9 22. You know, just a couple of quick things. Um, well, here in New York, we have what is called winter snow and ice that just seems to stick around for a month and then finally it dissipates a little bit, but you get to look at snow and ice for a good solid month sometimes, especially when it gets really cold. But you know what the politicians are like? Yeah, well, the anticipation of when winter actually ends, and it's not Groundhog Day, okay guys? <laughs> it's something by instinct. You know that the winter is coming to an end weather's getting warmer, the ice is melting, and the snow is disappearing. Okay? By instinct, you know this. You know spring's about to sprung. But the politicians want to make it look like it's snowing in July when we all know it's over. It's done. As far as I'm concerned, it was over a year and a half ago. But that's, you know, <laughs> we won't get into that. <clears throat> but they want to make it look like it's snowing in July and everything is still moving along. Okay. Well, what they're doing here in New York is they're trickling down all their little ridiculous mistakes that they made in the past, which we all know has done nothing but destroy this fucking country and destroy people's lives. It's done nothing. Nothing what's been going on in the last two years has helped the matter at all. I'm not even getting into whether or not I think exists or not because there's no point of saying anything about that. You know my stance on that. But still, my point is nothing that any of these politicians have implemented has helped anything at all. <laughs> At all! <laughs> Nothing! Look it up! It's in the Tribune, it's in... Uh, I, I, one of the colleges just did a report about it. Not a single thing has led to any help of... of help. Look, you know what I'm saying, okay? Alright? And there's no reason to even talk about it anymore. Alright? So, if the politicians want to still make it look like it's snowing in July, it's not going to work. Because finally, after two years, the 10 million people that live around me in, here in New York are starting to finally wake up, you know, where they're not paying attention to the news. And across the country, I see people aren't even paying attention to the ridiculous media that's out there. <laughs> that's quite surprising. I think their ratings now are down by like, I don't know, 90%? Did I hear that right? Is it 90%? Because that would usually crush a company, I would say, but they're yet still paying all their reporters a substantial amount of money and their anchors a substantial amount of money. As a matter of fact, we have one of them that live in my um, my town. You know what, what, You know how, how much she paid for her house? And she, and she just bought it, a, I don't know, three or four years ago. It was five million dollars. It's an anchor for Channel 2 News. Five million dollar house. It's great. Well, you know, here in Westchester, a five million dollar house isn't very big. It's, you know, maybe 3,000 square feet, but still, it's not like a mansion you would get down in, in North Carolina. But that's, I don't know how to get these fucking bullshit my point is she sold out. Everybody sold out who works for the news. Everybody sold out who works for Hollywood. Everybody sold out who's a sports uh, person. And that goes, and that trickles all the way down to golf. They're all sold out. Every single one of them. The Super Bowl's coming up on Sunday. Don't miss out. Place your bets in. There was just a, a statistic that was out that there were, is going to be 38 million people betting on this. And I believe they said it's an $8 billion day. $8 billion, guys, for idiots running around in a field 
tossing a ball. <laughs> it just, it, it, and, it, and you know, it gets worse. Because <laughs> then, then you got baseball, then you got soccer, and you got all this nonsense. And I, I just, it's, it's all fab- fabricated. It, I mean, it's, it's all there to, to keep you confused. And I completely lost my train of thought about talking about this bullshit. Because that's all it is, bullshit. All of it, everything, everything is bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. You know, once you figure all of this out, then, then you see the lies. You've got to revisit everything. I mean, you just have to revisit every single thing. And you'll see little tidbits in there of flat earth. Little things. You know how many times I must have seen Back in the Future? I mean, an ex-girlfriend of mine bought me the 3D uh, CD set back in, I don't know when the hell, 1993, I remember, it took a year for things to get out um, on DVD, but she bought me the whole DVD set. Anyway, um, that was a girlfriend of mine, okay? My current status is much different. My point is, all the flat maps that you see in there, um, oh, and the 1003, this this is one thing I wanted to bring up. 1003 and 1004, you don't really know which one it is, because sometimes they don't have those little slits in, in between the, uh, the clock, um, so it could be either or, but I, I believe it's 1003. It's such a big number. If you look when they advertise clocks, it's always on that time. You know, it really, it doesn't make any sense at all to me. So you see back in the future when, you know, Marty wanted to get back into, Michael J. Fox wanted to get back into the future. Um, 1985, what time was it? 10.04, I believe. I think it was either 10 I don't think it was, they, they didn't go as far to go say that it was 10.03. I think they just said it was 10.04. But, I, I mean, you know, it, it really, you, you see all of it and how it, you know, how these sickos, who, these producers, you know, are, are all connected somehow or another with all of this nonsense, and 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 they have to, they have to show it to you, you know, um, when you're making a movie, and you have somebody else paying for it, and backing it up. Um, I, I've heard that people come in and they strategically place things in certain areas, you know, and the, the actors and, and, and the actresses and. and the producers, they, they don't, they don't care. They don't, we're just producing a movie here. You know, put whatever the fuck you want in the background, as long as it's not a penis or something like that, all right? This is a PG movie. So put whatever the fuck you want in the background. You'll see, revisit everything. Just go back. You'll have to do a little homework and just fast forward past the movies. I can't even really watch a movie anymore. I can't believe I used to spend my, my entire time, two and a half hours, watching an entire movie, sitting in front of a freaking TV, and watching it, and still not seeing all of this, you know? I mean, it's just so obvious. It's too obvious. And that's why it's, they say it's in your face. Christ. They could... <laughs> they do whatever they want. As long as they get the truth out in certain ways where well, you're not going to question it, you know? I was watching the day moon today. Um, and uh, you know what I love about the moon? Is <clears throat> the shadow, supposedly, that the earth casts on the moon. Why don't you see the Himalaya mountains at all? Like a little peak, you know? The only thing you, you, you see when you zoom in on the moon are, are these little ridiculous, that look, they kind of look 3D in a way, um, shadows from the sun, you know? But that, that's a projection. It, it has nothing to do with the sun. And, and the moon has nothing to do, um, I mean, the reflection, on the moon has nothing to do with the sun at all whatsoever, all right? That's totally different. It's an entity on working on its own. 
is what I'm trying to tell you. It's there, but it's not tangible. You can't land on it. But why is the shadow from the earth supposedly perfect? It's perfect. Shouldn't you see some sort of mountains? Because in the wintertime, when I'm looking at the sun come through the tree uh, branches, it's precise. It's perfect. I mean, the minute it was proven that the moon is projecting cool, that should have been the end of any correlation between the sun and the moon, you know? Even if I put it on my channel, it doesn't make a difference. My channel isn't getting out there. The only people that are seeing me right now are people that are subbed to my channel. No one knew was going to see me. That's what YouTube's done. And that's what they've done to all the truthers. So then why don't you go on a rug fit? Why don't you go do I, Who cares? It doesn't make a difference. My whole point of this channel was to see a real guy go through this evolution of being a flat earther, you know, and how difficult it is to deal with these zombies that are out here that still think it's fucking winter <laughs> running around with their diaper. And I guarantee you, look, tomorrow's the mandate day. I mean, uh, the end of the mandate here in New York. I guarantee you in my building and all of Westchester County, there still are going to be people walking around on the fucking sidewalk or driving in their car by themselves, still wearing masks. I don't know what it is. I mean, do they do they like to be frightened? Is that what it is? They must love horror movies. I, I can't think of any other reason. But let's see. Let's see. Tomorrow, I am going to... I don't know what time I'm getting out tomorrow, but I know Friday morning i got to wake up really early. So let's see if I have some time, but... If I get out early tomorrow, I'm going to try to have a little fun, you know. Uh, but apparently tomorrow the mandate's going to be lifted for all businesses. Small businesses too. And uh, I forget what else, I don't know, whatever fuck them it may be, uh, who knows. I mean, they make all of this shit up, they just put these ridiculous things down to confuse everybody and, and make them think things are going on when they really even aren't, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous, this guy's doing like 90 miles per hour, he's driving all over the place, I don't know, it's funny, it really is, how people have been able to tolerate this for as long as they have, you know, there are things going on, I, I don't know if they're prefabricated, I, I, I don't know, who knows, I'm sure they probably are, but they are making a point, okay? They are making a point, in some cases. The most important thing is, is the children, and that's to have them stop doing what they've mandated, because that is just ridiculousness. That has to get done. Private schools aren't really listening to it, but it's the public schools, you know? So, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I uh, thank you for something. I thank you for viewing my videos. I'm going to be a part of your life.